Hello everyone, already I have explained about the storage assets in the last video. They are auto register and static. Now I should I want to explain about the extern storage class. Here, what do you mean by the extern storage class? In Python and Java, we have a package concept. And the packages we are importing into the importing to current program. And also we are including the libraries in including the libraries in C language. So see the difference. So what is the what is the difference between importing importing packages or uh, packages or classes to current program and including the libraries into the uh, C program. Both are same. Both are same. Uh, we, we are preparing some set of uh, useful programs and we are grouping them into one package. That package, whenever we need, we are importing to the current program in Java language and Python language. Whereas coming to the C language, the same concept is there like including concept. So now we are including the header files. What do you mean by the header file? Header file is a, a collection of executable programs relevant. Now, if, if there is a header file is a stdevo.h means it is a, a programs are related to the uh, printf, scanf, getf, putf, like that. All input output functions are, their related ports are available in a stdevo.h. So similar way, we can also create a, a program, a user defined program that we can able to import or include into the, the current program. But the process is done with extern keyword. The process is done with extern keyword. I think you clearly understand about the difference between uh, the process of importing the values of other programs into the current program. That uh, example, you must be comparing you, yourself with importing of package, packages in a Java program and including the libraries in a C program that we already have going, we are doing in C language and we are doing in a Java language. Uh, so here we are including the libraries. Also, we can include the, some user defined program or you create, create your own program and include that corresponding uh, their respect to variables and functions into a current program. So now how we are writing the new statement, I include some library if you are including SG, B, I, O, it's a one library dot a dot if we are including now like that you we can also create a program the program name in example it's a simple program that program i want to include to the, my current program so now simple program simple dot c i want to include into the current program yes we can able to include in this by using this kind of statement include it include it now your program your current program is uh example your current program is a uh, current dot C. Your current program is a current dot C. In the current current dot C program, you are including a simple dot C program. Simple dot C program may contains the a set of variables and set of functions that we can able to act. Uh, uh, that we can able to use in the current program. So it's nothing but reusing of the variables of simple simple dot C, reusing of functions of a simple dot C in um, in my current program. That concept I want to explain now. Let's take an example for that. First, uh, uh, access the a simple variable from a, a variable of other program to a current program. So now my file name is a simple dot c. It's the first file name. Now in this program, the program file created, I have included. So, the library also created and followed by I have declared only one variable in TA that value is equal to 50. Next, B value is equal to 40. These two variables I have declared and also assigned the values. Assign the values. Now, this is my end of the program. This is my program. This is my end of the program. I just created a two variable. You don't get any error. You just, you are not executing any function. You are not even calling any function. You save this code. Just you save this code. We cannot run also because there is no main function in the simple C. 
why why should not write a main function in a simple or uh, any uh, the files which you are creating to access in another program that i will explain in the end of the uh, video but you should understand uh, the simply follow the steps of procedure i have declared a one two uh, two variables and i also assign the values now this program completed now i am creating a one more program simple 2.c 2.c second program 2.c now here i am include and what dot x i am including dot x after including this after including this i am generally i want to access uh, that two variables where you want to access you want to access uh, you want to access uh, into as a global variable or local variable that is your wish first i want to explain the example for the global variable so now i am giving like a uh, x turn uh, uh, before using that you also include the program include the corresponding program so this is syntax simple dot c we have to include into our library now, uh, where you want to access the A variable or B variable? I want to access X1 int A as a global variable. Global variable. Now, this A is not a A of my simple two program. This is a A of simple dot C program, simple one dot C program. This my program is a simple two dot C. It access a one variable A. It is coming from simple dot C program. Because I already mentioned that external variable, external, extant. Okay, so the variable A, their value will become 50. You no need to even initialize the variable, just you call that variable. Now, which get access from this copy. This copy. Okay, now next, uh, I'm declaring something. Uh, uh, we are calling some domain, then followed by here. In this local, there we have some set of local variables like a x comma y like that. We have a local variable, and one another variable I want to use uh, as a local variable, as a local variable, but not it is from the uh, main function. It is from other fun other program from simple dot c x turn into p semicolon. Now one variable I access as a global variable. One more variable I access as a local variable. Now you can utilize that variables in this corresponding function. It's nothing but reusing of variables. Now I'm performing something like a operation LD. Um, it is a like uh, uh, A plus B I'm performing. And you will get output as a 90. 90. You will get output as a 90. I'm closing this function. This is one way of using a variable. And you can also modify the values. You can also modify the values after declaring this. You, after you uh, retrieve from here, I just want to see that A is equal to uh, something like uh, uh, something like uh, B plus yes, we can do this. Anything if you want to do that, all operations we are applying on the corresponding variable. But only one thing you remember. Uh, these variables, and you remember one more point, these variables are declared as a global variable, also declared as a local variable. Wherever you want, this is the variable in, uh, at that case, we had to use the keyword extend, that's it, extend keyword. Okay, so this is about access the other program variable into the, your current program, uh, current pro program place. Now, I am extending this program, I'm extending this program like uh, with some function. I'm adding some function. The function is the in add function. There is one function add. It has some uh, some variables like p comma int q. There are some two variables are there, and these two are uh, auto class variables add. Now, return p plus q. So here we have a one function and the respective definition. And also I want to access this function into my
mic simple to function as you can able to access it but before access we should write the respective prototype with the extern keyword we used to write here yeah. extern int add off int comma int we should write the prototype we should declare or define the prototype a corresponding function by using extern keyword now this is a one function not from the your program which is get access from uh, another program that is a simple dot c simple dot c what it is going to be happen now i want to call this function I want to call this function add add the values are uh, something like a two comma three I am calling semicolon that I want to show the return value because that is an integer return type I want to return it to x and also I will print the x value print a percentile d and comma x something I am printing and right what happened now currently i am doing this program currently i am doing this program while i am doing this program uh, i have imported a or nothing but i included a simple dot c program but simple dot c program what are the contents are available in the simple dot c program one function is available and two variables are available and all these resources i want to use in this for in this simple dot c I see a simple dot two function. Now, whenever you want to use, first include it. I have included. Then if you want to use a variable as a global variable or local variable, whatever it is, you write the corresponding variable or declare the variable with extend keyword. And the name should be same. Name should be same. The next, if you want to use the function, yes, you can able to use, but before using the function call, first you have to write the prototype here. Prototype here. Okay, extend. And the respective prototype int add int comma int then followed by this statement execute the next this statement as a local variable next uh, i am performing some operation i am printing something then after i am calling the add function i don't have any definition in my current program in this current program i don't have any definition for add but add definition is available from other programs so control will uh, execute this block from other program because this is already included to your code this block will be executed from there itself. This complete program is now attached to your program so that this block also attached to the, your current program. Now control will transfer to the, this block and will execute and also return the value and also return the value. Return the value and the return value is allocated to the x. x will become 5 and the output of x will become 5 like that. Uh, and uh, if you, I have created a one more function like a multiplication, y multiplication of int i comma int j. Now this is my function. I'm writing some. I'm printing something like percentile d comma i into j. So this is a, a definition for. Uh, definition for multiplication function, but I'm not returning anything. Even I am not calling from main function, not calling from main function. So no need to mention the function call. I no need to, uh, I don't want to call actually multiplication. Then you no need to mention in the current program. Now there are, what are the resources are there in the simple dot C? I have three kind of resources. One is a two function type resources. One is a add function, multiplication function. Two other resources are uh, a variable, B variable. I think in simple to program, we have used the A variable, B variable, two variables we use and also add function. But we didn't use the multiplication, no need to use. If it is useful for your program, you can use. Whenever you want to use, use the extend keyword. So this is about uh, one another kind of storage class, external storage, external storage class, which is usually used to access the other program data into the your current program but whenever we want to use and one another important point i am missing to explain we should not mention the main function main function a simple dot cr the code which code you want to include into your current current program we should not write here main we should not write if you 
or write main in this program, what's going to be happen? If you write here, this entire code is including with your current code. Already your current code has a main function. Now this code also will contain the main function. In this way, the compiler will get confused which way will be access uh, to run the code. In this way, uh, you will get a conflict. So that we should not write the main function of whenever you prepare a one spare program or package program uh, to use all that corresponding data into the another program. In this program, we should not mention the main function. Main functions should not write and main function should be there only in your current program. So only one main is used to execute the uh, code in C compiler. If you create two mains from by including the multiple programs, then compiler cannot run properly. Okay, so this is a point you should not forget. So next video I will explain with uh, explain new topic.